Hello and welcome to another Gelfing and Commodity Talk Show and this is the next report on the Southampton car boot sale. Hello. Um, but before we do that... I was going to say, why are you, we're talking about the car boot sale, so how come you got pictures of Easter eggs? Um, this is our local supermarket and they've got Easter eggs out in January. Yes. Incredible, isn't it? Mad. And... <laughs> Um, I guess it's just outside our house. And, um, can you see that car has had a crash and the police pulled over? Oh, yeah. Um, he's hit the back of this um, 4x4 and he's wedged it. Can you see where it crashed into it? Oh, uh, yeah. And, um, it pushed that 4x4 up into the curve. I just want to show you that. I think it lost control because of the ice. Mm, and, I was, and I guess when the driver came back to see his car mounted on the curb to be a bit surprised but the small car came off worse for wear well not surprised I mean that thing is a little tank isn't it really in comparison ok we've got about 10 pictures in, in charity shops to get through and I'll just stick them in before the car boot so sale. this is non car boot sale yeah. section <laughs> I'm sure people don't mind no one watches these shows anyway oh <laughs> How can you not watch I'm not shows. famous like PewDP. He's got 22 million subscribers. That's He's probably a multi, multi, multi gazillionaire <laughs> at the age of 20, whoever he is. Anyway, <laughs> and Cluedo Super Sleuth. Yeah. Fun. So, what's supposed to be the difference between that and the standard game? I don't know. Maybe I should have got it to find out. <laughs> probably no difference. It's just their way of making it look more, even more interesting. Mm. PlayStation. Ten pounds charity mm. shop. Can you believe that? Paperweights. Uh, Paperweights. So I've got a close up shot. Well, I know, that's <laughs> next one I mean. That's a border dish. We've already talked about this before in another show and this one's boxed. Four pounds. Yeah. Um, here's the paperweights again. Happy birthday. Aww. Ooh, stamp. There's a yeah, it's a paperweight with a stamp uh, of Henry VIII. Yeah, with the Mary Rose. Uh, it's um, it was a set of um, I don't know if it was navigators or whether it was um, I think it might have been famous ships or no, because there was there was him, then there was um, I think there was Sir Francis Drake I think with oh the, so they did the some stamps hind. with ships yeah. and some famous people yeah, and then there was um, Nelson with um, Victory um uh, uh, yeah it's a keyboard. In oh this yeah. charity shop, I think the thing is waiting to be sorted. It's a Yamaha, it's a nice mate. Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf is a book. A Red book? Dwarf, yeah. Black, Black Adder. Adder. <laughs> that's, a funny that's a book. That's a book. Never um, even seen a book. They had a section on TV books. Never seen a book on of Black Adder. Black Adder's a I very funny sitcom in the UK. It's brilliant. I just can't imagine um, it being the same reading the book though. Um, and I can't see you fully. Oh, it's a clock. It's a clock. Funky. Um, electrical equipment. Yeah. Okay, we're going into the car boot sale finally. So this is the car boot sale. This is the car boot sale. Let's go. That's oh, quite pretty. It's Egyptian, or the picture is supposed to be Egyptian, or is Egyptian. This is very fun. nice. I think that's supposed to be a Cirrus. Cirrus. Well, I looked at the base of it, and there's some Arabic on there. Yeah, so it could have come from. Um, was it valuable? Well, it's got fine porcelain right underneath it, so. Possibly. It's not valuable, I don't think, no. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that out. Um, box. Box. Why would you have a box? Crowbar. No, that's or a walking stick. Oh, really? <laughs> Shaped like a serpent, I suppose. Oh, Guess inside the box oh, time. Oh, dear, we're back at that again, are we? Okay. What's inside? Um, Come on. Nails. Nails? <laughs> You are nearly correct. <laughs> Nuts and bolts. Well done. That was a guess. <laughs> Do you know why I thought it was going to be something like that? Because of how rusty the tin was. Probably, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a horror. Is it a real ivory? <laughs> well, Is it illegal? 
No, I don't think it's. I, I don't know whether. I don't know if. Um, if that's a cattle horn. I don't know whether. It's not an elephant. No. No, wrong colour. It's the wrong sharpness. Elephant horns don't get that as sharp. True. So it looks like it's really new, actually. There's a cattle horn. I don't think. So it's not um, legal or anything else. Not valuable, no. Different, but ugh, that's not very nice. Look at that picture, the um, the head going around to meet her at the front. That's a bit weird. Uh, that is really weird. Uh, I don't particularly like that, to be honest. It's just stretchy. That was just odd. That's a nice picture of the coast. Yeah. It's alright. The Millennium Falcon. Oh, that's a weird one. In what way? Look how bulged it is. Well, it's a more modern one, isn't it? Yeah. Ugly, ugly. Mac OS. Some sort of thing. So, you see all those cables down there? Oh yeah, it looks like extension leads. Uh, well, I wanted one. I put it back down because I couldn't. I couldn't get his attention. Right. To ask how much. Then this guy comes up, picks up the bar, whole box. Is how much? He's five pounds. It's a whole lot. I was wanted one for a couple of quid to yeah, put well, my computer into it. Well, well it's, it's fine if you got use for all of them. He's going to resell them. I mean, they're not exactly really expensive to buy brand new no. in the shop, so. Um, Looks pipes and, and odds and things. Ah, this is interesting. Steam locomotive. There's a picture of a steam locomotive. Probably at Netley Marsh or something years ago. <laughs> Teddy bears. This was from the house clearance, and um, they obviously cleared out someone's house, and they had bags and bags of these teddy bears mm. there was probably a, about 50 to 100 teddy bears they wanted two pounds each it's expensive actually it's not like they're um i think a pound for a small one two amazing. pound for a big one that's another picture from another angle look how many there are poor teddies well i can't really see what they that are is. light bulbs oh. incandescent ones so it looks like people have stocked up because obviously they're illegal to buy now, aren't they? I don't think it's illegal. The places do still sell them. Oh, well, I thought they banned them. No, they still sell them. They are still available. They want you to use the mercury filled uh, fluorescent ones. They want you to use the energy saving ones, but they are still available. They give people headaches. Controversial. <coughs> well, I don't really <laughs> think that's right. Um, old radio. Mm -hmm. Someone bought that, two pounds. Three pounds, actually. Compass. No, it's... Hey, it's just Lymington. Yeah, I saw that. Huh. Was it cufflinks, then? I think so, but obviously the silver or whatever it is in the middle has worn away. Duh. What's the picture on it supposed to be? Is it Christopher? St. Christopher? Oh. Yeah, Ellet's... Where's that? Is that in New it's in Limington? Limi it's in that shop. New. It's in Limington. It's the High Street. It's almost opposite Boots. Oh yes. I didn't know they sell stuff like that. Well, of course they are. They're a clothing shop and they do all gent stuff like that. Uh, a very expensive, exclusive shop. And um, this is from the house clearance again, and obviously this person. This is, is a this is a lot of stuff from Limington. So that's Limington um, Borough Boat Bill Limington Borough something. Something obviously this person lived is this from the clearance that's clearance stuff you say yeah. they also lived in um, Limington they were into sailing and stuff because that is another um, one with the same symbol on over there that well, red if one. you look at the trophies there he's holding cards and uh. there's the Limington Bridge Club somewhere I've walked past it actually on the high uh. street um, yeah, that's up by the top, um, the top end. Top Saint, Saint Saint it is. Thomas. It's by. It's up by where um, Marks and Spencer's is. So this person won a few games or championships. It's sad. Now there's a picture here. I've I've blurred it out. Obviously, it's confidential. Was he a pilot in the USS USA Air Force? The US Air Force. Don't know. It must have been. That's some well, sort of jet. It might have been him. It could have been a it was him. relative. How do you know it was him? No, you're right. 
Maybe. Could have been a relative. Could be a relative. Could have been his. Well, I doubt it was his dad, but it could have been a relative. Because if this person had passed on, then they would have been old enough to have fought in the war. Uh, this is the next sad thing because in the same lot he'd been married 50 years Ooh. so 50th wedding anniversary it's happy golden anniversary. wedding anniversary wow can you may imagine being married for 50 years nan and granddad married for 70 years really yeah before but granddad those, passed we're in a different on. time now people get married for a year and they get divorced now it's a far away society yeah Next. 70 years, can you imagine that? I know, 70 years of one person. Are you trying to say something? <laughs> I'm moving on. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's tea's made. Mm. Thanks for your tea in the morning. CDs. Yep. Cheap. Is that a witch's it's a broom? <laughs> it's just a broom, yeah. A good prop for a, a YouTube video. Uh, as a zip drive. What's the game? Ah, you'll see the next picture. Whisperer, I've never heard of that one. I don't know, it's vintage MP games. Vintage, you put everything. Uh, everything everything more than 20 years old to you is vintage. Well, that's how you sell it on eBay, don't you? You mm. buy something here for like 10p and then, oh, it's vintage. <laughs> now we can sell it for £25. I'm sorry, but to me, vintage is probably about. At least 60 years old. <laughs> to me. Uh, um, fire that engine. Fire engine with a big long ladder. Not not vintage. This is weird. A big swan. That's a big swan with someone standing on the wing. With a nude woman in the front. It was quite faded. Oh, that's weird. Another keyboard. We have a satellite navigation, a bike lock. Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah, I just saw that. Uh, yeah. Mm. Good, film, good film. LPs Records. could be worth millions, of, well, thousands. <laughs> Doubt it very much. I'm still looking at Pink Floyd. What on earth is that supposed to be? That is a jigsaw. There's, I think there's two motors there or something. It's not a puzzle. Oh. No, it's a saw. Isn't <laughs> I it? know what you meant. It's an old saw. Yeah, it is. Vintage. <laughs> Um, yeah, some Disney characters. Oh, there's a Praetorian soldier. Oh, and the, the yeah. white character. An ornament. A pres what soldier? Praetorian, I think. What's that from then? Rome. Oh. More records. Tina See, Turner. there's more than you'll be able to shake a stick out of those records. Yes. I'm not getting into Carpets. it. Carpets. Yeah, you could buy... <laughs> Obviously, this guy had some carpets to get rid of. Uh, There's about £100 per roll there, so that's not bad. You could just do your lounge. Well, it's more than lounge. that. I mean, gee. You could do your whole house for £100. No, I wouldn't do your whole house. I could put it myself. Not hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, more back teddy to bears. Teddies. Poor teddies. They need a home. been abandoned. <laughs> Oh, uh, this clock lamp. West clocks. My dad had one of those clocks. Yeah, I had one of those. He still got it, probably. I think my dad's got his. Oh goodness. Ah, so a travel clock. Mm. Not as nice as the other one. Fishing reel. That's an old fishing reel. This is from the house clearance. So, he, and he had a whole bag full of fishing stuff. Mm. So. What is that? That was a metal detector. Oh. Yes, I see now. Um, nothing interesting else. N nothing interesting in there. Mm, no, that I can see. It's a bike. It's a yeah, a motorbike for a child. Mm. Cannons. <sighs> Different. They can be worth for quite a lot of money. Those oh. cannons. I I am not an expert, but I've seen them and they can go for a lot of money. Yale yeah, security alarm. Uh, <laughs> and there's various games. <laughs> it wasn't that secure because it's there on the table. It's <laughs> yeah. odd lot there. There's all these games and PlayStation 1 and Super Nintendo. Gran Turismo. Gosh, I used to play that a lot. Yeah, but looking back on it, the graphics were rubbish. They were really blocky. It doesn't matter. It was a good game. And you started off in the Nissan Silvia. Do you remember that? 
And the best car was was at the Nissan Skyline. Yeah, that was good. As well as the Suzuki Hill Climber. Abraham's Tank. Toys. Toys. What's this? Some sort of radio, do you think? Yeah. Or a submarine radio. It's a um It was heavy. I couldn't move. It looks it do you know what it reminds you of? It looks like the ones that you saw in um um, like the World War Two films. You could use it as a, as a prop. It's like a transmitter radio, reception, receiving radio. You know, when you had the um, the people in occupied territories the trying, to signal, trying to signal the for The resistance in France. Yeah. Oh, that's the US Enterprise. Yes, which series is that from? Oh, don't ask me. I'm not as trekky. Okay, and who was the captain... Kirk. <laughs> no, it's uh, Picard, isn't it? It's yeah. the next generation. I don't know. I just <laughs> recognised it. I might be that. wrong, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the next generation. Because yeah. um, it's more curvy. Um, stuff. There's a drill. I recognise that. A Matika. Mak Makita. 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 <laughs> Helmets or oh, wellies? I've been looking for wellies. Well, you well, left them. You left them there. I'm afraid. Wellington right. boots. Yes. I can walk around the jumble sales without getting wet. <laughs> um, moving on. Uh, that um, bowl is rather nice in its way. Oh, that's some. Um, See in the thing there. My I've I've got from my um from my nan and granddad's. I've got a piece of that set of stuff. What were we talking about? The swans? No. The bamboo. The, the tree with the squirrel and the... Um, Bambi? Yeah. Oh. There was um, Nan and Grandad... Maybe I should look out for it next time. Nan week. and Grandad had, um, I think it was four different bits of it that made up the set, and um, we got one each. Oh. <laughs> They're nice. Uh, some kind of exercise machine? Yeah, I think you put your knees on the two pads there and you just spin yourself around. Okay. There's more than one in this jumble sale, car boot sale. Yeah. I think it's one of those things that you buy after Christmas and you think, I'm going to get fit. You use it a couple of times and you just can't be bothered to To me, that sounds out. like you just put yourself on there and you just get dizzy. Well, you hold the bars at the front. Oh, I see. So you're not spinning around, you're just spinning from side to side. Yeah, to left side. and right. I can't see that that would actually, um, apart from doing your knees in after so long, I can't see that that would do a lot of <laughs> When you see the video or the TV adverts, you know, it's how you can do your abs, you do your knees, and do everything. This is how to wiggle your bum. This is how to wiggle your bum. <laughs> Next. There's two tripods there. Quite oh, that beefy. is a tripod. I thought it was. I didn't ask how much. I've already got a tripod, but... Uh, I'm not going to buy another one. <laughs> oh, no. Um, nothing so, else interesting in there. Everything on this mat was 50p and there's a steering lock there. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's half a steering lock. Where's the other half? No. <laughs> you know the f full ones, the disc lock? It um, covers the whole wheel. This one just covers the half a bit. And what's the point of that? Um... Stops people steering. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> no answer. Um, Laptop. I uh, know uh, it's a netbook. Netbook. Never buy a netbook. Uh, bits and bobs. Because you can't do anything with it. Hair dryers, radio, bike, film. Although I might, game. Get, I might get some thumbs down for saying stuff about netbooks. Anyway. Oh, it's a. Dog. 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 It's a mini TARDIS. <laughs> I think it's a model. Uh, PlayStation 3. Uh, TV. Cheese, Grammy. It's Ooh. a cheese thing. It's an odd plate at the back. That's interesting. I don't know what that was. Oh, that's like junk to me. See, I, d I don't see any of that as, you know, interest that interests me. But I'll take a picture of it just in case there's something interesting for you. 
Um, yeah, I would have liked to see that. It's you know, different. I can't tell the value of these. I mean, you could, I could buy that for five quid, and to say, yeah, it's worth fifty, you, you can't tell. Mm. Well, if you're going to it to try and make money, then you got to know what you're talking about. Otherwise, it's I was to say it looks pretty and it's old. You'll therefore, it's worth ten if times. You, if I pay you don't for know it. when you go there, you'll end up buying a ton of stuff, and then well, when exactly. you get home, you find out that it was all worthless. <laughs> I only ha I'm just there to look around now. Speakers, Speakers these rackets. are bought. So I'll lug them home. Mm. Typewriter. And there's a picture there of the street. Mm -hmm. We're coming to the end. Now this was interesting. Look, look at all these PlayStation 2 games. <sighs> Look at them, there's this whole table for them. They were a pound and <laughs> you couldn't ship them. Now they're fi they're fifty P. 50p. Oh, well, that's because everybody. These were like 30, 40 pounds brand new. Everybody's upgraded. But uh, if you had time and space and money, pick them all up. If they're not scratched, that is, and then put them away, and then 20, 30 years' time. No, they won't. You get your money back, no, and then you some. Won't. No, no, you won't. They, they, I find these games can be really scratched, but I don't know what people do with them. Well, I mean, my games are never like that. They, they don't get scratched. Oh, it's like sometimes you see CDs and everything that are scratched to pieces. They, like, put them on people's soles of their shoes and start walking <laughs> on them. That's what they do. It's a disgrace. Uh, anyway. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, there's a plane. Is that a Lancaster bomber? Could be. I think it is supposed to be, yeah. Uh, as I was going to say, it's like there's more planes underneath. That's why I took another picture. Hmm. So is that a Messerschmitt? It's German. Yeah. Well, yeah, I could see the um, marking to say it was a German. That's a nice little plane. That's a different one, isn't it? Yes. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Well, the other one had four engines. Yeah, that's the Lancaster. That one, I don't know what that one is. Or is that Lancaster? No, no, no. Oh, this is know. not. This is not the Lancaster because it's. I think it's got four engines. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty. Uh, yes, some sort of galleon, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> That's French. French. Look, yeah, look. I was just gonna say it's French. It's a flag. Rudies. Oh, there's another tweet, kingfisher. Tweet tweet. Those are resin, though. I think they're fine. It's a pile of. No, it's a, a vacuum cleaner that someone didn't want in the end. And just I was going to say there. they left a poor little vacuum cleaner. But how did they know it didn't work? Is it because they didn't sell it and they thought, I'm not taking this home, that's it, I'm leaving it there. <laughs> that's a pretty class little person, isn't it? Toby Chugs. Well, yeah, of a sort, but they're, I don't like those. People. Not people. They've uh, got. We've gone. Oh no, we've gone too fast. So go back here. Picture. Yes. Where is it? Something. A bridge. <laughs> anyway, um, next. Do you know what? I've, we've got um, wheels. My, my parents have got one of those, and we used to um, stand when we used to what get. What are they? That when we used to get. Um, are they from real, a train. When we used to get. Listen, dummy. Let me speak. <laughs> when we used to get real Christmas trees, we used to stick it and stand it in that. And it's because they're heavy. Right. Very heavy. <laughs> I, I wonder where they're... that was going. I was, I was saying train wheels and he started talking about Christmas trees. Yes, well, it's because you never <laughs> let me finish what I was talking uh, about. You kept interrupting. So where do they come from then? Well, I don't know. Well, actually, someone took about six or eight of these wheels to the car boot sale, put mm. them on the ground, and when I walked around, they're all gone. Some, like these people, they picked them up and bought them. Mm. Well, what are they? What, what do you do with them? Well... No, they're they train wheels. They're good for weights. <sighs> I don't know what they want to do. We should have asked them. You, put, the, you put them in the garden, they look nice. Oh... I know. I'm pretty sure they're cast iron. They're heavy oh. enough to be cast iron. But what do you do with them? I these don't weights? know. I would say they had a purpose, but what that was, I don't know. It's a horse. That's a horse with a cat next to it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought they had end a show on this picture, which is this is near uh, somewhere. This is near. This is near somewhere. somewhere. 
<laughs> this is near somewhere. There's a cat guarding a horse. <laughs> but anyway, did you enjoy that car boot itself? Mm, there's some odds and sods and bits and bobs and stuff. Well, thanks for joining us. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye.